Coco is purring on your back. The rise and fall. She was sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. Justice has been saved. Oh yes, she has to pay for her sins. She made me suffer for no reason. She should also experience what it feels like to sleep and wake up in a prison yard. Tell me again, my dog. She gets my noble lie. She knew you were innocent but kept dragging you. She even planned your death. No, now. She was so heartless. What baffled me in order was the fact that Tony kept supporting his mother all through that period. He didn't even believe me for once. I tried explaining so many things to him but he would always shun me as if I was his worst enemy. Look at him today. He was so ashamed of himself that he couldn't look into my eyes. You both of you saw each other recently? Yeah, we met in court. And what did he say to you? He was asking me to forgive him. And what was your response? My bushy time. I'm not getting time for now. So now, what's our next move? I want to know how much his mother is worth and know the amount of all the properties they own. Okay, so how do you intend getting the information? I'll ask Tony about it, but not immediately. You know I'm saying head is still full for now. That's true. Um, would he agree to disclose those information to you? Why not? Someone who has been hypnotized. I don't judge him now. Anything I tell Tony make him do, now he's waiting to do. Wow, very good. Things would go smoothly now. Sure. Um, how far? I see they talk. Nope, he hasn't called me since the last time we called over the phone. Okay, I need you in this picture. Ask me why. Why? Good. You see, for us to achieve this goal, we must make sure we separate Tony entirely from friends and family. And I want you to come back to his life as his friend. The mom see no day in the picture again, so nobody will threaten you again. Sure. So I'll be the one to manipulate him to give you another chance as a friend. I might even ask him to invite you over the come over the house. But not do as if you know me if you come. <laughs> now what for you? How I go take do that kind of mistake? Okay. So you'd be one and only friend. I know the kind of advice where you go to give Tony. What kind of advice, please? You tell him things like Linda is a very decent girl. Settle down with her. Make her your wife. You know she's all you got now. Don't keep any secrets from her. You know, just the brainwash and me the guy too they believe in me. Gee, we both have to team up and play this final game. Oh. Sure, we are always together. Hope Sandra I don't see you that day for court. No, she didn't. I hid myself and I also disguised. I used Google cover my eye. Can't tie one big toba like Percy where her husband just died. <laughs> I trust you now, but that's babe. <laughs> Mr. Ken, I want to start by saying a big thank you for the great sacrifice you did for Angela. On behalf of my wife and I, I want to say thank you once again. You are welcome, Mr. Pascal. I also owe you thanks for always being there for Angela. She told me how you and your wife kept calling and encouraging her. She also told me how you flew all the way from Dubai just to come see her in prison. You are such a selfless being. God bless you. Bless you too. Of what benefit should people live their lives all for themselves? We all should be our brother's keeper. Angela has become family to us. We are obliged to ensure her safety for life. Wow, you are a great gentleman. I wish to meet you someday. You just inspired me. Thanks for the compliment, Mr. Ken. I believe we would meet each other someday. Sure. How is your wife, Diana? She's fine. She's even here with me now. Wow. Can I say hi to her? Sure, babe. Mr. Ken wants to say hi to you. Good day, Mr. Ken. Good day, Mrs. Pascal. How are you doing today? I'm super fine, and you? I'm doing great, thanks. I want to thank you for your support throughout this journey. Mr. Ken, I should be the one thank you for being an acting guide and angel to my friend. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I am? Gosh, a guiding angel, you mean? <laughs> Tony, you need to call your friend Christopher. You know your mother confessed being guilty of sending that guy to kill Christopher. Yeah, she said so, but Christopher also betrayed me. How did he betray you? He sold my secrets to that Ken guy. I don't think he did. Linda, Christopher did. He didn't. He told you that he forgot the phone inside the vehicle. Ken might be the very guy who owns the car that he forgot the phone in. So you are asking me to forgive Christopher? Yes, you have to forgive him. He was also hurt by your mother. He was a nice guy with no evil intentions against you. He left you because your mother was after his life. Believe me, that guy is hot and that's why he has been keeping his distance from you. 
Everyone is just hurting because of me. Everyone is avoiding me. I am now an enemy to everyone for sins that I never committed. And my mom keeps telling me that she was busy destroying lives all because of me. God, what kind of life is this? My uncles are also very angry with me because they've heard that my mom was the one that killed their brother, Nathaniel. I feel deserted. I'll have to pay for all her sins. Hi, babe. Good morning, dear. What's this? Breakfast in bed. My goodness, you really made me breakfast. Sure. Anything for my queen. Oh, thanks, boy. You're such a sweet soul. I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you are amazing. Thanks. Hope you had a wonderful night's rest. Hmm. Being a free man is one of life's biggest blessings. This mattress is so comfy. Reminded me of those days when Diana and I were still flexing. Pascal booked a five-star hotel for us and this type of mattress was exactly where we lay in during that period. Wow, lucky babes. So you guys enjoyed life a lot. You didn't even remember me then. <laughs> oh my goodness, I haven't seen you then. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, babe. Hello, classrooms. How was your weekend holiday? Went well, sir. And yours? Oh, my dear, mine was superb. Flexing things, my boy. <laughs> Sana are you, Biko? They flex, Jerry. Chop life before life chops you. <laughs> yes, oh, my boy. Your head, Nadia. Benji, my correct guy. Oda, cut you, please. This is a classroom, I beg. Come, this picture again. You have been turning into a witch in this class. Don't allow me to bind you and cast you. You have to start from your son, John Boo, first. Sepetra, what were I calling my name now? Did you hear my voice in this class? Yes, I know you don't talk in this class because you are ashamed of your father. John Boo, come out of your shell and speak up. This is not the John Boo I used to know. She won't finish you. Sepetra, don't put my mental health at stake. Before I will place a perpetual course on you. They want to place a perpetual course on perpetual. <laughs> I brought you food. Thank you. But you have to stop coming here every day. Why? You have to move on with your life and forget about me. You know that is not possible. Tony, I don't want to make life difficult for you. Move on with your life and forget about me. Has deserted me because of your actions. I've been reduced to an object of mockery each time I walk on the road. People are just avoiding me. What life do I have again to move on with? How about Linda? She's fine. She hasn't bothered to come visit me yet. She asks about you. Okay. Hope the both of you are living in peace. Of course. There is no issue between us. Okay. Please, I want to give you a candid advice. Please, don't trust anyone 100%. Don't trust Linda 100%. You know you trusted me with all your hearts, and that was why I was able to manipulate your life. Please, don't make such mistake again, especially women. I won't, mom. I have learned my lesson. Come on, mom. You have to eat right now. You are losing weight already. I am so ashamed of myself, Tony. You shouldn't be this nice to me. You have to go and let me be. The more you show the kindness to me, the more guilt I feel. Stop crying. I know what you did was wrong, and I'm never happy about it. But one thing I will never do is to abandon you. The love of a mother is irreplaceable. Oh, thank you, my son. Thank you. I have sat down and actually realized that you did all that because you were trying to be too protective of your son. And also the fact that you wanted to dedicate the fact that you wanted to dictate my life in your best way. Exactly. That was my intention. If you never had me as a son, you wouldn't have done those things. I'm also sharing in the guilt, pains and regrets with you. So I will still be coming here till we both learn from our mistakes and become better people. I have learned my lesson. I am so sorry for all that I have done. Please don't do that, mom. Stop it. This tears is getting out of hand. Wipe your tears and eat your food. There is hope for tomorrow. Tony, have you called your friend Christopher? Not yet. I'll call him soon. And that'll be when? Maybe tomorrow. Okay, please do. Call him and reconcile with him, okay? Alright. But why do you keep pestering me about Christopher? You haven't been asking me about my mother in this manner. Uh-uh. Tony, what are you insinuating? That I want to date your friend? No, that's not what I mean. As my woman, you should be more concerned about my family and not strangers. I don't say that I'm not sad about what happened to your mother. Will I brood over that forever? No one is asking you to brood over it forever. 
just show little concern about that woman who has been locked up in that ditch for weeks now. Alright, I'll go visit her tomorrow. Because I brought up the topic, should I be reminding you of checking on her? Tony, please stop it. You're throwing tantrums. Everybody has their own challenges. Do you know what I'm passing through myself? You know I'm pregnant. You don't even know how I feel inside of me. Yeah, that reminds me. How many months pregnant are you now? I'm two months pregnant. Uh-uh, since then? Is this pregnancy going forward or backwards? What kind of question is that? So tell me more about your family. Okay. I am the only child of my late parents. Oh, your parents are late. Sorry about that. Thanks. I lost them while I was still at a very tender age. Yeah. So I grew up with my grandfather, the one you have met. Okay, so he was the one who trained you. Exactly. So he's the only family I have now. No wonder the both of you have this strong bond. Yeah, he's my everything. Yeah, so what do you do for a living? Sorry for bombarding you with all these questions. It's okay. I'm a businessman. I import various kinds of goods, like electric cars, groceries, wares, and so many more. But I don't sell them in retail. Rather, I sell them off in wholesale to other merchants. I have a lot of customers. Wow, you are a big businessman indeed. Mr. Importer and Exporter. <laughs> <laughs> Are you teasing me? <laughs> no. Why will I? So you promised to tell me what happened and led to your arrest. Oh, that's true. Sorry that I haven't told you. So many things on my head. Pardon me for that. I was accused of a debt I didn't owe. So they arrested me alongside with some of my business partners in Kampala, Uganda. So we were detained for investigation. After the investigation, the police found out that I was innocent. So they freed me and found my way back to homeland. Yeah, I am glad that you came out of it. Yeah, an innocent mind fears no accusation. Sure. So tell me about your love life. Do you have a girlfriend or a wife? I have none of the... I have none of the mentioned. <laughs> I'm perfectly single. No girlfriend, no wife. But I'm searching. Yeah, searching for my soulmates. <laughs> really? Angela is currently living with Ken. Yeah, they are both living together now. Okay. I believe we will take good care of her. Ken is a nice guy. Sure. Angela keeps telling me good things about him. He said the guy provides almost anything she requests for. Wow, good to hear that. What does he do for a living? She said he's a businessman that imports and exports goods. Wow, nice business. So what is his plan with Angela? Will she continue to stay with him? I don't think the guy is complaining and according to Angela, he doesn't have a girlfriend. So, no one will disturb her stay in his house. She also said that Ken doesn't even want her to leave his place. Hmm, I'm beginning to suspect something. But, I know we'll talk. <laughs> talk, Joe. What do you suspect? <laughs> Maybe soon, they will be inviting us for their wedding ceremony. <laughs> I knew that was what we were gonna say. Funny you. It isn't bad now. Now, good thing now. Or don't you want my friend to get married? So I want her to get married, but she should look well before leaping this time around. Once beaten twice shy. I prefer her to make the right decision this time around. She deserves true love and she's gonna get it. Sanji baby. <laughs> Hi Christopher, long time no see. I did fine and you? I'm good. How is life going? Small small. How is your business and family? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Bro, where are you now? I'm still in my family house. At where please? In my hometown. Oh. You are very far away. When will you be returning? To Mosha City? Yes. Um, let's see next week. I have a business I need to do there in the city. So I may come next week. Hope no problem. No, no problem. I just want to see you. Okay, when I return, I'll give you a call. Alright. Um, I'm sorry for the way I talked to you the other day. It's fine, bro. That's not in the past. One love, bro. The more they asked me see how many more by Belady. What do you can't tell them? I told him I'm two months pregnant. And what did he say? He was just saying rubbish. He called the talk saying my pregnancy don't suppose pass two months. Imagine they asked me whether the pregnancy they go forward or backward. <laughs> Which kind of figure question be that? That guy thought he meant to. <laughs> don't mind him. I don't know if it's his mother's situation that is turning his brain upside down. Very soon I go tell him say I don't get discouraged. <sighs> no, don't say him such thing. I don't think that's a good idea. Why you talk so? You know the only reason why they left you in that house was because of that pregnancy. 
you the fake and i want you to tell him to use you as his nest of kin because you're already pregnant for him hmm are you sure that plan will work out let's try this first if it doesn't work out we would come up with another plan oh life is indeed a roller coaster angela is now a free man and i was stuck in here for good 10 years oh i wish i had fought the poor gear i thought money was everything i thought i could manipulate things and also manipulate people i should have left my son to go ahead and marry that lady i didn't see anything wrong that angela did to me i have sat down and have risen so many things inside this prison only to realize that i was just wicked and heartless towards angela for no reason i allowed the devil to use me in destroying my own life Oh, had I known, I wouldn't have been a tyrant. <laughs> Ken, I want to start something doing. I am tired of staying at home. Not so soon, Engie. Why bother yourself? I don't just like being idle. I understand. But you still need to rest enough before engaging in any activity. You need to heal more. I'm super fine now, believe me. What am I still brooding about? I have forgotten all the pains and trauma. I am ready to forge on in life and let the past be in the past. Just want to get something doing. Okay. What do you intend doing? Starting up my shoe business. Okay. How much would it cost? About 150,000 Naira. Okay. I'll give you the money by month end. But for now, keep resting, my dear. I want to make sure that you are both psychologically and emotionally fit for hustle. Oh, thanks, dear. God bless you. Bless you too, sweetie. Christopher, I am deeply sorry for the rude way I talked to you over the phone regarding the phone issue. I also apologize on my mom's behalf. I know you kept your distance because you felt your life was under a threat. I didn't know what came over my mom, but I'm very sure that she has learned her lessons in a very hard way. Please, I deeply apologize for her actions. No qualms, bro. Are you still talking about the past? Let's love lead, please. Take heart for everything that happened during this period. I know how difficult it was for you seeing your mom being sentenced to jail. I I believe there is still hope for her and things would get better soon. Hmm, I hope so too. She really crossed boundaries and justice was served. But I pray she finds mercy before God and before man. Yeah, you are right. May God show her mercy. Hi Melinda, how are you? I'm fine Mr. Christopher. Thanks for asking. How is the family? Everyone is doing great. I can see that I can see that I really taking good care of my man here. Keep it up, please. <laughs> Thanks. Please, you have to firmly stand by him this period. Because my man is going through a lot. Console him for me, I beg. Don't allow him to think too much. Rather, pray with him so that things would get better. Alright, I will. Thanks for your advice. Perpetua. 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 How many times did I call you? Three times, silly. Perpetua, you called me silly. Because you are sounding like one. Pepecha, what have I done to you that makes you keep tormenting me? What should I do you? Point of correction, Jumbo. I don't torment people because I am not a demon. Don't ever use that word again. Don't worry. I will soon leave this school for you. Please, if you are going, make sure you carry your father along. We don't want to have both of you in this school again. Pepecha, I once liked you and I was even planning on seeing your parents and introducing myself to them as your future husband. But thank God I didn't do that. Perpetua, you are a typical example of thorn in the flesh. What baffles me is that, despite all your oversavvy attitude, you have never come first position in our class. Jumbo, if you want to insult me, please give me a sign. Relax. Just wait for it. I promise you that before I leave here, you will get it. Now listen, I would advise you to just quit school. Look for one Fulani health man and get married to him. And then, carry three of pepper sit down in the middle of market and start exchanging words with your fellow market women that's the life that suits you perpetua you are an integrated scallywag jumbo how dare you call me talk to me like this i'll report you to my father when i get to i will tell him to pray evil for you back to sender no with profession against me shall prosper Please.